Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Uh, so, I'm going to be honest. We've got a few issues here. So, Train 25 is the Fuel to Reno line, and it's very convenient that it came in here. And the finances for it, uh, they're a little iffy. As you can see, it, it, it takes a while for it to reach Reno all the way from Glendale. I mean, it's got a long ways to travel here to get there. And, um... Honestly, that's just not going to work. We, uh, it's, you know, this is not making enough profit to justify the long journey it takes. So we got to shorten that journey. And I was uh, really thinking it through here. And uh, I've come to the conclusion that it's actually really simple. We're just going to build a bridge right off of the platforms here, cross over here, run up through in this mountain, kind of come through here and hook up here and we can cut out the entire Palm Bay Grand Prairie a bit um, I was also I, I also had looked at possibly having a branch line come off of here come through here and hook up here um, but honestly that's still um, that's a, still a lot longer ways to go than to do it that way so uh, let's do it this way. Um, I think this is the... Uh, I think it will be the better option. The only real issue with this is that we've got, you know, to cl we got a pretty steep incline. Uh, you know, we're gonna have a climb here. But, um... I think we'll be fine. It's, it, because we can start going up right off of the platform, pretty much, uh, to get here. And the only thing I gotta be careful was not to cut too close here. Yes, we're trying to get to Reno, but I think we're gonna have to come, like, through here. So, um... The first thing I think we want to do here is I think we're going to want to, um... Put in a cross here. Uh, what's that set to? 50, 51? Yeah, perfect. Oh shoot, and we got Cantry. I hate that that's checked by default. It, that, that gets me every time. Alright, and so off of this... Um, let's start building a 120 uh, curve here. And we can figure out kind of what the shape of it needs to be here. Um... Okay, we are not angled right here. So... We kind of need it to hit the road here like this. But I feel like we can be a little tighter than this. Okay, so it, it's at this point that we start to... Uh, become too sharp and we're doing the inner one right yeah because we're going to double track this honestly we can afford to double track it it's not going to be it's going to be practically nothing to double track this um so we might have to lose a bit of a seg section here because we're going to kind of come straight here and do it that way uh so this looks fine, so we'll put this down here. We'll have to trim some of it, but I don't know how much we need to trim yet, so we won't trim now. Uh, we're going to come to the platform here, and uh, let's start with the inner here, because this is going to be the tightest, so we want to make sure that this is the nice one here. Um, and uh, let's actually spend the money on an iron bridge. It's probably, yeah, it's not going to be that much more. Um... How are we looking? So if we come off of that, ooh. Um, you know what? I think we're gonna wanna build kind of backwards here. Uh, so we're going to trim actually after all. We'll trim that much. And what I think we wanna do here is I think we wanna kind of get to this point. Honestly, what would happen if we just tried to build it? <laughs> It's not going to let it, is it? I mean, if it, if it allowed us to just hook these two points up like that. I mean, that gives us a good idea of what we're dealing with here. Um, we just got to pull it over more. 
Um, set to that. How does that look? You know, I think I think I need to give just a touch more space there from uh, the iron ore mine as a just in case type situation. How's that spacing look? All right, that looks fine. Um, we'll trim a bit of it here. So now we got to figure out how we're going to curve it up there. <laughs> this is um, a little bit trickier than I thought in terms of getting it the way I want it to. Can we just... You know what? That works. That works just fine. Sure. Boom. Done. And uh, we did the... Oh. Wait, was that the inner or the out? Oh. Hmm. Uh, slight problem. Uh, I technically did the outer when I wanted to do the inner. I even thought I checked it. Uh, honestly, that's not going to be too much of a problem. In fact, actually, in this case, I don't think it's going to matter. No, it doesn't care. It does not care. Oh, technically we built a second bridge there, or tunnel there. Uh, but that's fine. Okay, and now we just gotta connect up here. Um, of course, we're gonna have to redo the signals, uh, but that's fine. Actually, you know what? Hang on. I don't think this is connected up quite right. Um, let's try that again. Let's actually take it from the point there. Ah, oh, that's done right. Alright. So, signal time. Uh, we want one way? Yes. We want to place a signal here. Um, we want to... Well... I'm going to place signals here. And signals here. We're going to remove this signal here because it's not needed. We got our cross there. So yeah, I think that's already taken care of all the signaling. We got a redundant signal there. That really doesn't need to be there. Um, we'll place the... Uh, because this area can get a bit busy, um, we will put a couple signals in here just to get that nicely sorted. Um, oh, I don't have the signal for here yet. Okay. So let's place a signal there. Um, I think the best place to do it... Ooh. Well, alright. Yeah, I guess we're placing signals there like that. Um... And, of course, I want a signal before the bridge oh, as the tunnel starts. So we'll put signals there like so. Um, we do need a cross in here, actually, don't we? 80 and... Yeah, I'll take that. That's nice. Oh, well, that was 79 there. I should have dragged it a little bit more, I guess. But that's fine. Yeah, that's that works. 
Okay, so now we gotta, you know, signal the bridge here. Uh, let's be honest. Um, so let's put a signal before the bridge starts here. And then I think we'll have two more signals added on. How many, uh, you know, hang on, let's just uh, do a little counting here of this bridge. Um, you know, I'm just going to count some of these sections to it, you know, the different segments. Okay, so there's 26 segments to this bridge. So um, we're going to have each one be labeled A, B. Oh, wait, no, that, that's something different I'm doing. Uh, right, so 26 segments. Um, we could split it at the 13th segment in half, but well, actually, I, I don't think this bridge is going to be getting that much business. You know, it's just going to be the, 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 the fuel trains pretty much, I think. So, um, yeah, let's just do it in half. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So about here we want a signal. How does that look? That doesn't look like it's in half, but um, I. I think I know what I did wrong there with that. Um, okay, yeah, see, because some of these segments are longer than other segments. These are pretty evenly spaced, but you got some short ones, but you also got some long ones, like right in here, that's a long segment. Um, I suppose if we split this in half, it would be all right. So we'll put another signal there. Um, and we won't stagger these signals. We'll just put them right next to each other, like so. And do I kind of don't want to put one right there. Yeah, we'll put it there. That's fine. All right, that, that should take care of the signaling through there. That just leaves the signaling here. And I think we're only going to add uh, one more. Once again, we're not going to stagger these. Uh, that looks fine. That's fine. That's great, in fact. Um, we may have a bit of an issue with this road here, um, so we might want to consider uh, building a bridge like we did here. Um, also, I think I want to upgrade this road, but uh, having uh, this... Um, I should have provided more spacing here. I don't know why I butted it up. A good rule of thumb um, is to always make sure. See where this line is here? Yeah, line it up with that. Make sure those two line up, because uh, I built my I built my uh, truck stop way too close there. So we got to move that back at some point. But yeah, that bridge didn't take long, and I imagine we'll see the fruits of our labor very shortly here. Um, oh, I have not. Um, okay, we didn't quite do this right here. Uh, so fuel to Palm Bay should be set to terminal three. Um, terminal two should be fuel to Reno and terminal one should be fuel to Lexington. So Lexington, Reno, Palm Bay. Uh, and by doing so, Reno and Lexington can take advantage of this. Palm Bay will not benefit from this. So Palm Bay stays on this side. Uh, that's all there is to it. That's pretty beautiful. And when we start shipping to Hampton, Hampton will just have its line put in here and it can hook up that way. So really, we could probably get rid of um, the track connection here and simplify this further. But I think we'll hold off on doing anything like that. Already, I believe it has changed the line over. If we go into our line management here and we click, yeah. I mean, we don't even have to isolate it here. Already, uh, they're starting to take advantage of this, which is nice. So yeah, that was the big project I had planned, and it actually didn't take that long at all to do. Um, let's see here, what else do we need to do? Um, 
Let's take a look at what's going on in Grand Prairie. In fact, actually, I should be using this more. I don't know why I don't use this. Let's just take a look at what's going on in all of uh, the places here. So, um, you know, what? let's actually sort it by growth here. That makes it a little bit easier to see what's going on. So Palm Bay's growth is up plus 170 percent. No surprise. Uh, that's very good to see, you know, so everything's looking good there. I mean, we're still having some issues with machines. Uh, I think we can get another truck on tri um, tripping, shipping goods into uh, Palm Bay there, Grand Prairie. Uh, Grand Prairie, I, there's not much else we can do. We just got to wait for it to get caught up to, you know, and basically recover from uh, the massive disaster uh, that struck it. And then we fixed. We didn't cause this. No, it, this was just in the making. Um, Lexington, of course, is trying to get its fuel. We're working on that. Uh, that will help immensely, but we also gotta wait for the fuel refinery to get caught up to producing fuel for Lexington. So that's gonna take some time. Um, tools to Lexington could be better, apparently. We're not doing uh, well enough there. So that's a good thing to pay attention to. Uh, Glendale, uh, Glendale, you know, we're, 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 we're failing Glendale pretty badly, if I'm being honest. Um, we're just, we aren't supplying goods. We're only supplying construction materials. We aren't even supplying food um, or machines. So that actually kind of brings up um, the next big project. And I don't think we're going to get that completed this episode. Uh, but we can at least get started on that. Uh, so where is that one? Right. I kind of want to also do what we just did. I want to build a bridge connecting. Um, I basically want to have a line come off of Glendale here. I want it to extend this way. And I want it to connect up to basically Lexington this way. Um, and the main reason I want to do that is doing so will actually help set us up to, um, well, there's a steel mill here that we can connect up here to the machines factory, and then we can start producing machines here. Um, as far as wood for this goes, we still have this line up here, which I keep neglecting to do anything with. And this little line is, you know, it makes us a million just with this train. You know, the, the finances here are wonderful. Uh, this is like the unsung hero of you know this whole game because it's been here for a long time you know it's just been steadily making money so what we can do is we can ship wood uh this way down here along you know the coast of the river here to the machines factory likewise we can get the steel from across the river if we want to we got a ready supply of iron we got a ready supply of coal um Heck, we could ship the coal this way from here, because I think we still just have a massive surplus of coal. Well, actually, you know, we're doing all right on transporting. We probably don't want to stress that coal mine out anymore. Uh, the iron ore mine, you know, this is just a case of how much distance it has to travel um, again. But we're doing better with steel. Steel is still trying to get caught up here, specifically with the machines factory. Um... You know, it's just taking a little while for everything to get caught up here to where it should be because we really let this production drop and it really hurt things. Uh, so we're, we, you know, we're just trying to get caught up here at the moment, pretty much. Um, so yeah, we, we, we can take a source of coal here um, or from there, you know, to the steel mill. We can take iron from there or we can take iron from there. Uh, we can also take iron from here. In fact, we... No, that's not a, probably a wise idea. Um, so we have options with that. Um, I don't think we're going to be tapping that iron mine, though. That could be messy. Um, we'll probably have to put the station on this side here, because the train's going to come over like so. Um... So I suppose this is the first, you know, um, starting point, because eventually what we'll also do is, um, so 
oh, when we start shipping stuff uh, this way here, we can actually bypass uh, this entire bit here and we can just connect up there if we so choose. We could also ship the wood this way now that I think about it. Um, let me think this through for a moment. The wood comes down here, it gets turned into planks. Um, a train picks up the planks, takes it down here to the machines factory, and then maybe we transport some machines up here, not for Lexington, but to then transfer to Palm Bay? No, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense at all. 